sled dog racing. It's a popular winter sport in which teams of sled dogs pull sleds over a very long distance through snow and ice. The sport has a long history and is deeply ingrained in the culture and traditions of many indigenous communities in North America, where sled dogs have been used for centuries for transportation, hunting, and other purposes. Most people know about dog sledding because of the famous Iditarod sled dog race. However, the first dog sleds were made by the Inuit people in 1000 AD as a way to get around. Once European colonists made it to the far north of the earth, it didn't take them long to figure out how to use this new way to get around as well. Teams can range from 4 to 10 dogs, with some races requiring 18 dogs or more. The majority of races are run from point to point on back roads or trails. A sled and its driver can be pulled at speeds of more than 20 miles an hour, that's 30 kilometers per hour, by a team of 6 to 8 dogs. Typically, teams start at intervals and race against the clock. In 1908, the first known sled dog race was held in Alaska to test the endurance and speed of sled dogs. The All-Alaska Sweepstakes. It is still considered one of the world's oldest and most prestigious sled dog races to win. There's also the Iditarod Trail Sled Dog Race, the world's most famous sled dog race, and it's known as the last great race on earth. The race is over 1,000 miles, 1,600 kilometers long, and takes place in Alaska every March. This is about how far it is from New York City all the way down to Miami. A musher named Mitch Seavey and his team completed this race in the record time of 8 days, 3 hours, 40 minutes, and 13 seconds, marking it the fastest finish of the Iditarod ever. That was back in 2017. In 1992, the Berengia 92 race between Esso and Markovo in eastern Russia was the longest sled dog race ever. It was 1,270 miles or 2,044 kilometers long. Musher Vladimir Radovilov won the race. It took him 201 hours to finish. Sled dogs are bred and trained for racing, and different breeds are better suited to different racing conditions. Alaskan Huskies, Siberian Huskies, and Samoyeds are among the most popular breeds for sled dog racing. These breeds are very smart and easy to train, which makes them perfect for doing their jobs. Long-distance travel can be confusing, so it takes a very smart dog to be able to follow verbal commands. They're well prepared for the cold because they have a very thick double coat. It has a rough outer layer and a dense softer inner layer. Thick pads protect the dog's paws, and the dog's fluffy tail can cover its nose when it curls up into a ball to sleep outside. Sled dogs love their job because they're born to pull and run. Some dogs do well living in a home where they can take it easy, but these dogs do best with daily exercise and plenty of room to run. Still, most sled dogs are treated like family, though, and some mushers even let them spend time on the couch in front of the fire. Make no mistake, though, these dogs are spoiled. From the time they're puppies until they're old, sled dogs are trained carefully to protect their health. As a general rule, you should let your dog run as long as it is healthy and wants to run. This means that both young and old dogs, they could actually be on the same team. Younger dogs, they've got more power, while the older ones, they've learned a lot from being on the trail for a very long time. Sled dogs are highly intelligent, extremely athletic, and long-distance races necessitate extensive training and conditioning. To maintain their strength and endurance, they're fed a high-protein diet and give them regular exercise. The dogs can do switch roles on the team as well, depending on the situation, the terrain, or the musher's plans. However, mushers know their dogs and which ones do the best in which roles. Lead dogs might not be the fastest, but they must be the smartest so they can pick up on the musher's subtle cues and guide the rest of the team along the way. A good lead dog works with the musher to set a steady pace and be the leader of the team. The two swing dogs are right behind the lead dog. They help make turns 
which is especially helpful in deep snow or on steep trails. The dogs in the middle, they're called team dogs. It sounds normal, but can be anything but. They can be the most important part of the team. Lastly, the strongest dogs are put in the very back, closest to the musher. These are called the wheel dogs. Sled dog racing is a physically demanding sport for both the dogs and the mushers who must navigate through treacherous terrain and inclement weather. Mushers must carry a variety of equipment and supplies, including spare clothes, food, medical supplies, to ensure their dog's safety and well-being. Interestingly, in the past, the word mush was used to tell a group of dogs to move. It comes from the French word marche, which means to walk or to move. And the English word mush came directly from the word march or march. Sled dog racing has a long history of sportsmanship and respect for the dogs. And mushers are expected to follow strict rules and regulations to ensure their dog's safety and continued welfare. These are interesting things with JC.